Hi, I'm Desmi Jones. I'm executive director at the Springfield Museum of Art. When Christian asked me to speak about uh, the humanities and why they were important, I was excited and honored and thought, why, of course, the humanities are critical. And then I had a wave of panic go over me, come over me, and I thought, well, okay, what all are the humanities again? And I thought, yes, okay, it's the study of the human existence. It includes art, history, music, um, you know, psychology. I mean, there's so many different things that are included. Um, and then I thought, my goodness, how do I speak about something that has so much importance that we're talking about the human experience and why on earth would I be qualified to talk about it? So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna share some of my thoughts. The humanities um, have always been captivating to me. Even when I was a kid, I didn't think about them as the humanities or know about them that way, but I was always fascinated to try to understand humanity in a better way. Um, I read lots of books as a kid. I was enthralled by books about uh, historical figures um, or people who lived in the past. I wanted to know more about what happened before me that helped shape the world that we were in today. Um, and then as I continued along through my education, I became more and more um, focused on uh, what, I, what I came to understand were the humanities. I studied art. Um, I was engaged in music. I played the violin growing up, and those were the um, those were the subjects that always captivated me the most. Um, when I went to college, when I well, actually, I'm going to take a step back um, since I'm here now, and fortunate to be the director at an art museum. When I was a high school student, I grew up in Bell Fountain, Ohio, just up the road from Springfield. My high school art teacher took us to the Toledo Museum of Art. It was the very first art museum I had ever been to. And when I walked in the doors, I was just floored. It was such a beautiful space, a beautiful building. And we walked in and we turned around and we went into the galleries. And there on the wall, I saw the, a painting and I was so struck by it because this painting had been on a poster in our classroom. And in this classroom, it sat across, across from my table that I sat at, and I would stare at it all the time, and it was a painting of Venice. Um, I'd never traveled outside of the country, um, and I had always wanted to travel to Europe and all over the world and, and explore and, and see the world. Um, when I stared at this painting, I thought about what it must like to be there. It was during a sunset, and you know, what would it be like to see the, the sun shimmering over the water in Venice? And that's when I became captivated with museums. Um, and that's one of the things that inspired me. And I realized it wasn't just this painting, but it was the significance that this painting held. It was um, thinking about a world bigger than myself. Um, it was, you know, using my imagination to imagine um, a place that I'd never been to, but hoped to be at. And um, I realize now all of those thoughts and explorations is truly about what the humanities are about. The humanities help us um, think about those we interact with. They help us think about how we can better understand our fellow human beings, even though we don't live in their bodies and have their same experiences every day. They help us think about how the world can be a better place and how we grapple with all of the challenges and struggles that we deal with in our day-to-day -day lives, big and small. Um, and I think that's one of the th reasons why the humanities have always been so exciting to me, um, and also why they can be so challenging to explain. Is in many ways, they are ambiguous. Um, and I think it's this ambiguity, which is why, precisely why, the humanities are more important than ever for us to explore. Our, our world is an increasingly complex space, and having a tolerance for ambiguity means that you can hold two opposing viewpoints or two opposing ideas in your head at the same time. Uh, you know, our minds naturally want to reconcile differences and to come out with one point of understanding. The reality is that is not how the world operates. Um, for us to be able to work through our world's most challenging problems, we have to be able to see the good and the bad. We have to be able to understand that um, even
evil is happening in the world and that there's hope. And how we work through those problems is precisely what is what will help us continue to serve humanity and the world. Um, a few stories that come to mind, uh, there, were, there were a few things that came to mind when I was thinking about this. One of them is about a woman um, named Friedel Beaker um, Brandeis. And she was in the Terezin concentration camp. And while she was there, she worked with um, children. She found a way to create artwork with children in the concentration camp. And there, there's a quote that I have um, about some of the work that she did. Um, she found ways to help children express themselves, find freedom within an impressive environment, and to communicate their hopes and fears. Um, she, along with a friend, hid about 5,000 drawings that children had created in the concentration camp and preserved them. Um, and those are now on view at a museum. So even though she perished in the concentration camp, she found a way to help some of these children who are in maybe the most oppressive, horrific experience in the history of the world um, express themselves and think about what it would be like to be out of this box that they were forced into. And um, there were some of the children who went through that experience that came out on the other side and were, be able, were able to talk about how she impacted their lives. Um, and I think the humanities, without the humanities, how could we possibly have those, that opportunity to think about um, hope in an incredibly impressive situation for children um, and to think about how we can make the world a better place. Um, when, I was, when I was going to graduate school, I, I was already working in museums for about a decade and I was really interested to go back to, to graduate school and I was trying to figure out, you know, where did I want to go? What exactly did I want to do? And there was a quote that, um, that has been so important to me and it helped lead me to the, the school that I was thinking about. It's by the um, uh, great Brazilian educator, uh, Paulo Freire, and he speaks about education. Um, he wrote a book called Pedagogy of the Oppressed. And one of the quotes he has is, education either functions as the in instrument which is used to facilitate integration of the younger generation into the logic of the present system and bring about conformity, or it becomes the practice of freedom, the means by which men and women deal critically and creatively with reality and discover how to participate in the transformation of their world. And so this, this has been an incredibly important um, quote for me as I think about what it means to be a museum educator and what now for me it means to be a director of a museum um, in a community where we want to be for everyone who is here and how we can help people use an art museum to connect with every part of humanity. I think that's what art and the humanities do best. It helps connect us with each other and with the world around us. Um, I think the humanities for us today in uh, Springfield, Ohio and Clark County are absolutely critical um, because no matter who you are and what work you do or what type of person you are as a citizen, you have to work with other people. You have to be able to think about how your personal interactions may impact someone else. And hopefully we're all doing that with the best hope in mind of how we can do that and move forward and create the best community possible for everyone. Without the humanities, I don't know how we would possibly be able to do that. So um, that's why I think the humanities are important. I also think here in Springfield, we are so lucky to have a wealth of resources. I feel fortunate to come to one of them every day at work for the art museum. We have Wittenberg, we have Clark State, we have a symphony, we have a wonderful library, uh, we have the Westcott House and the Heritage Center and the Hartman Rock Garden. We have all of these different resources and all of these resources help us explore um, our human existence here in our specific community. Um, in really interesting and complex ways. That's why I think the humanities are important.